Hello everybody, Hood and Cobra Commander 788 here, and I'm going to do another unboxing video and show you some stuff that uh, some viewers have sent to me. Uh, I was going to do this once a month, but I've been a little surprised at the rate in which you guys have been sending stuff to me, so I'm going to go ahead and open this and show you some of the cool stuff people have sent. Uh, and I want to reiterate of course, nobody ever has to send me every anything. I don't ask for donations to the show. Um, and so, uh, please, uh, I want everyone to understand I appreciate you just watching the reviews. I'm very happy when you just tune in every week to see the reviews and help me uh, enjoy sharing my collection. That's what I enjoy. Um, that's one of the best things for me about collecting is sharing it and doing this YouTube channel has helped me do that. Um, it's also helped me um, uh, make great connections and build some friendships with people in the community and so I'm very grateful to that. Uh, some folks though have been very generous and they've sent stuff in and if you're gonna be generous enough to send something to me I'm gonna open it so everyone can see I think you deserve the stuff that you send deserves to be on the show if you're going to do something like that and I want everyone to know how much I appreciate that so thank you to everyone for watching and thank you to everyone who has sent uh, donations to the show uh, to help me out uh, so uh, let's let's open this stuff up I'm gonna start with the smallest one uh, I know what it is, uh, but I haven't completely opened it up yet. I opened the envelope, but it's really pa well packed in there. Uh, so I'm going to pull this out. The name on the envelope is not the name of the person that sent it. Uh, that person uh, is Michael Lopez, uh, as it's written here on this note. Uh, and this, I know what this is, but this might be a cool surprise for you. All right, this has a handwritten note on it. Uh, that says this was purchased for Brian Lauer and purchased from Michael Lopez. That's just a note from uh, Vincent, the eBay, eBay seller. So uh, I'm just going to carefully cut that off. And it's in a figure case, but it's not a figure. There we go. I am happy with how well it was packed, though, because it is kind of a fragile item. I'll cut the tape. So I can open it up, and inside the figure case, it's in a plastic bag, and inside the plastic bag, there's bubble wrap. Let me try to zoom in a little bit uh, so you can see this when I open it. There we go. There we go. Ziploc bag. All right. There's more tape on that. Let me cut that tape. Let's see. Did that do it? Yeah. Okay, and it's rolled up in bubble wrap and more bubble wrap that is taped. I think I can peel that tape. Good. good. All right, almost there. All right, there it is. Ah, it's perfect, too. This is a 1982 Zap double-handled bazooka. There it is. Now, if you've been paying attention to my Facebook and my Twitter, uh, you know that I recently got an intact 1982 straight arm zap, uh, a very hard figure to find uh, with his thumbs intact. Uh, and the only thing that I was missing uh, to um, complete the figure and actually review it was this double handled bazooka intact. I have some broken ones, but this one. This one's perfect. And so that's from Michael. Thank you, Michael. Uh, that's awesome. And you know what this means? This means I need to review Zap. Uh, that's gorgeous. Uh, so that, I thought, was a very nice surprise. So that's going... That means Zap's ready. Zap is ready to review. So um, although that's the smallest package that's here, that's pretty special. So uh, thank you, Michael, for that. I'm going to carefully... In fact, I'm going to put it back in the bubble wrap. Um, and put it back in the case um, until I can put it in the other case where I have my uh, straight arm zap figure. Uh, so let's do that. And then uh, well, I've got a couple boxes here to open. 
Okay, both of these boxes are from Lawson Allen. Lawson has been very generous uh, and has sent a number of things. Uh, a lot of those uh, will end up in reviews. Uh, so Lawson has already sent some awesome stuff, and here are two more boxes. Uh, now, uh, this one, I did cut open the uh, cardboard. I cut open the box just so it would be easier for me to op open on camera. Uh, but this one I did open, and I kind of looked through it because I heard a couple things rattling around in there. Uh, and I wanted to make sure nothing was broken. Uh, everything seems fine. But, um, uh, so I took the packing material out, but I, I have seen what's in this box. So, um, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to let you see it. All right, this is going to be cool. Let's try to zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better. All right. I'm sorry, just looking at this stuff makes me smile. Um, there is a, um, oh yeah, that's complete. A complete... Yeah, a complete Frag Viper. Let's zoom in. Uh, Frag Viper is, uh, I, I did have a Frag Viper, but you know, he's an army builder, so that is sweet. And all of those, it's got all three of those grenades on there. He comes with three tiny grenades on his backpack. Uh, so Frag Viper, this is a fan favorite figure. That is Bullhorn. Did not have Bullhorn. Uh, I've been eyeing Bullhorn, been thinking about getting Bullhorn, but look at that. Uh, I don't know if all of his accessories are there, but I will check. Uh, and the figure looks pretty nice. So yeah, that's, uh, that is, yeah. That is, this is a, a fan favorite figure. This is something that a lot of, uh, especially later uh, Real American Hero G.I. Joe fans really enjoy. And a pretty sweet figure for the year he came out. Uh, so that bullhorn, excellent, and we have Salvo, Salvo, with backpack and his little um, mine launcher, and <laughs> right here on top, I, I can't believe I didn't pull this one out first, here's one that's been requested a lot. Crocmaster. Now I have several Crocmaster figures, but what does this look like? This looks like the uh, hose that goes to Crocmaster. I believe that is the correct hose. It fits anyway. I'll double check that. But if that is the correct uh, hose for Crocmaster, then this guy is finally complete. Um, and I have had so many requests for uh, reviews of this guy. So I guess I'll have to get to him now. He's ready. Um, that is awesome. Crocmaster. Uh, I probably should go through these a little faster because there's a lot of stuff. Um, uh, I believe this is Rampart. Rampart. Excellent. I, I, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, Major Altitude with his giant helmet. Um, all right, this, this is an accessory that goes to Stretcher. Uh, I don't know if he's in the box, though. Uh, there's Crocmaster's alligator. Not a crocodile, but there he is. Um, let's see. One of my favorite marines there, Leatherneck. Uh, that's actually... A, that Leatherneck's in better condition than the Leatherneck figure that I have, so that's awesome. Um, we have... Oh, that's, that's Heavy Duty. Oh, look at that. See, Heavy Duty is one of the better figures of the 90s. Uh, th there were some good figures in the 90s, and uh, this guy, uh, it looks like he might... Well, I think he's missing a missile, but the missile might be in the box somewhere. Uh, otherwise, he looks complete. Look at that guy. That is... That's pretty sweet. Heavy Duty. Okay, let's keep going. We've got a Saw Viper. Uh, oh, we've got uh, one of the missiles for Salvo. Uh, I'll try not to pull all of the accessories out because I, I know some accessories fell down into the uh, into the box, but I want to show you the figures at least. Uh, and there's Metalhead. I can't say I remember this guy's name. I'm going to have to look, the, look up this guy. Uh, interesting guy, though. Uh, let's see. What else we got? We got more accessories. Uh, I will sort through these accessories and uh, make sure they go to where they belong. There's a version 2 Stalker. Everybody knows I like Stalker. Uh, and he's got his uh, little kayak. Oh, he's, the rest of the kayak is in here. Um, and the little paddle, too. So, oh, I don't, don't want to break it. There we go. Version 2 of uh, Stalker. Um, and that's somebody's backpack. I'll 
marry the backpack with the figure later. There's a weapon that I'll have to figure out who goes to. Uh, but here, um, there's Stretcher. There's Stretcher. Um, another figure that I, a pretty solid figure. I do like this guy. Uh, kind of a second generation of Doc. Um, and that is Big Ben. Big Ben. Um, and look at this. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm seeing some parts here. Hold on. Uh, there, it's Naga Hyde, and he's got his boar, and uh, that looks to be his hat. Which way does it go? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Naga Hyde and his uh, pet boar. Um, you know, there aren't very many Dreadnoughts that I have uh, have yet to review, and he's one of them. So, uh, wow. <laughs> All right. Naga hide. Now, there is a vehicle in here, and I think we're down to the vehicle. Um, a few accessories down there at the bottom. Uh, but the vehicle that is here, oh, I don't want to lose that, is the Cobra Rage. Now, uh, you know, I do have a Cobra Rage, and uh, one of them was... Uh, it was given to me by another viewer, a very generous viewer. But what's awesome about this is that I can kit bash the Cobra Rage and uh, have the cleanest possible uh, vehicle uh, for when I review it. And that's another one that people have been uh, demanding a review for. So another one I, I should probably get to. Um, and there are some accessories kind of in it. Uh, when I put stuff back, um, you know, I was... Uh, I could have been a little more careful, uh, but uh, yeah, a Cobra Rage, that, and it's just so nice. Uh, it's just about flawless. That's nice. I um, wonder if it has the, and if it, even if it doesn't have the mines, I have the mines. Uh, 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 so that is, that's going to be complete and ready to review. Um, and we've got a Dr. Mindbender uh, file card, that's uh, Mindbender version 2. Uh, that's the one that I, oops, that's the one that I keep trying to um, uh, shoot with the spring-loaded missiles. That Doctor Mindbender, and then a bunch of accessories in here. And I, just uh, glancing at them, I'm pretty sure I know uh, who they go to. But I will sort these later. Uh, there is that other missile for heavy duty, um, and a figure, uh, one last figure. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is Night Creeper Leader. Um, yeah. The guy with the orange blindfold. Uh, so yeah, that's box number one. It's unbelievable that that's only one of the boxes uh, that Lawson sent. So um, let's um, back it out a little bit. Uh, and now I will open the second box, and I don't know what's in the second box. All right, box number two. Uh, I have cut a slit here, uh, and I'm going to cut the tape on this end so I can actually open it up. There we go. Alright, and this one will be a surprise to me too, because I have not looked in it to see what's there. Uh, and there's a lot in it, holy moly. Um, oh wow, um, okay, there's a Major Blood. Oh yeah, that's a Major Blood version too. Oh, sorry, gotta zoom in again. Uh, there's a Major Blood version too, uh, with this Sonic backpack. Um, there are vehicles in here. Oh my goodness. Uh, there's a Cobra jet pack. Uh, I think I think the missiles are, might be in here for it. Uh, this Cobra jet pack, it's it's just a, a small toy. It's Oh, there's one missile there. Um, it's, um, you know, it's it's a small toy and there's not a whole lot to it. Um, and I've been thinking, you know, why don't I just get one? It wouldn't be that big a deal to get one. Um, but I just never pulled the trigger on one of these. I didn't have one of these, uh, but now I do, thanks to Lawson. Um, and it's in, in pretty good shape, too. Um, clean that up a little bit, but very nice. Um, I see a missile in here. I don't know what it's for yet. Uh, and there's a green vehicle. There's a green vehicle. Green vehicles are all the... Oh, i got to move other stuff to get to it, though. Um, what have we got here? Oh look! Oh yeah, we have a Slaughter's Marauders mutt. Now, one thing about these Slaughter's Marauders figures is uh, every I do have a few others. I don't think I have mutt though. 
uh, but they, they tend to, the thumbs tend to break. The plastic seems to be brittle on these, uh, but mutt appears to be intact here. So, um, awesome. And, you know, Slaughter's Marauders, that's, that's the theme for Jokon this year. Uh, so uh, it's pretty sweet to have some Slaughter's Marauders figures. There's the Barracuda. Uh, G.I. Joburg did an excellent review of this. Uh, and so you should go watch it right now. Uh, but uh, pretty interesting. A small toy. It's a small sub, submarine. Um, but surprising number of features on this uh, for such a small vehicle. Uh, so Barracuda. Nice. We've got, I don't know what that goes to, but I will find out in a minute. Okay, I'm going to pull out this green vehicle because it's, you know, I like green things. Oh, I see what it is. Oh, I see what it is. Oh, and there are more figures. Oh, boy. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, look at that. Ah, uh, it's the Persuader. That is so nice. You know, I, in my collecting uh, um, experience, I have owned multiple Persuader shells, uh, but they've all had something wrong with them. Uh, the one that I have over there has a broken uh, toe hook. This looks great. Um, and there is uh, Backstop, the driver. And yeah, and, and my Backstop is broken. This one is not. So uh, excellent. So awesome. You know, I like anything in Army Green. So the Persuader. Uh, awesome. I'm thrilled with this already. Even if I pull nothing out of this, uh, nothing else out of this box, I'm already thrilled with it. Uh, but there's more in it, so let's pull it out. I'm, I got some figures. I'll go ahead and pull those out. Um, there is the Annihilator, Iron Grenadiers, with his little uh, helicopter backpack. Uh, looks to be in. Uh, I'm sorry. Looks to be complete. There is the Mindbender. Uh, Dr. Mindbender's file card was in the other box. Well, there's Mindbender himself. I uh, might have to take some pot shots at him with a spring-loaded missile. Uh, that's one of my favorite pastimes. Um, and we've got... Uh, oh. oh! Oh, hey, cool, cool, cool. Uh, we've got the blueprints uh, for something. The Cobra Parasite. Interesting don't have a Cobra Parasite, but now I have the instruction sheets, and I do like to have a library of these blueprints. You can look them up online, but I really find them handy uh, when I have a physical hard copy like that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, I Sorry, I just saw what's in there. You guys are going to flip when you see what's in here. I'm going to pull out some of the small stuff first. I'll save the best for last. Okay, there's some uh, Mindbenders accessories. There's a um, Hey, we were just talking about Zap. That would be version two of Zap. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, I believe, version three of Major Blood. And, oh yeah, Stalker version, I want to say version three, I think. Uh, and, oh, Dusty. Dusty, I, don't, I did not have this version of Dusty. Check that out. Um, I got. I got to pull. <laughs> I want to save the really cool stuff for last, um, so I'm pulling the other stuff out first. Um, oh my goodness! It's a whole bag of figures. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. Okay. Who all's in here? Okay. All right. I got to pull these out so I can see who all's in here. I can see one right now that I didn't have before. That's Overkill from the Talking Battle Commanders. Let's see. Yeah, the battery's dead, but th those batteries you can replace pretty easily. Uh, Overkill. There's Wetsuit. Wetsuit. Uh, there is um, Captain Gridiron with all of his um, football grenades. And uh, Sci-Fi version two. I don't want to I don't want to lose all these accessories so I'm not going to pull them all out of here but there's sci-fi version two. All right wow okay awesome 
Awesome. I don't want to lose these. I'm putting them back in here for now until I can catalog them and make sure that they are put in a safe place. All right. Okay. Stay right there, guys. Okay. Next. Uh, is it time to pull out the bigger stuff? I think it is. I think it is. Let's back it up just a second. Let's back it up. Back, 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 back. Okay. Big thing number two. It's not big exactly, but it's kind of a big deal. Oh. Ha. Sky Patrol. Look at that. Sky Patrol version of the Skyhawk. And we've got a Sky Patrol figure in it. There we go. Oh, look at that. Now, you know, guy, you guys know that I'm kind of falling in love with Sky Patrol, right? Um, I am easily distracted by shiny things. Um, that's what this missile was to. I thought that looked like a, um, like a Skyhawk missile. And... That's what this fin is for, too. And those two side panels are also in here. So that thing looks to be complete. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, and, oh, there's a figure. I'm sorry. Uh, this is, I believe, Incinerator. Oh, there's more, another figure. I'm trying to show you guys everything. Uh, that is, I believe this is Battle Core Mutt, uh, or DEF Mutt. I, it's still hard for me to keep all of the um, 90s sub teams straight. We're not done yet. One more thing. One more thing. And it's another Sky Patrol vehicle, the Sky Shark. Look at that. Look at that. And if you're wondering if it has the torpedoes, there are the torpedoes. Oh, nice. Um, okay, that is pretty awesome. Hello, it's the following day. I'm wearing a different shirt, and there's another box. One of Lawson Allen's boxes uh, came a day later than the others, so I want to go ahead and open this one for you as well. Uh, I have cut the tape on this one, but I haven't looked inside. I don't know what's in here, so uh, let's check it out, shall we? Uh, let's see, what have we got in here? Uh, we've got some newspaper packing material, always good. And, ooh, I see some cool stuff already. That, there you go. That's the slam. Let me try to tighten that in a little bit so you can see. The slam. Cool, I did not have this. Excellent. And I see an old favorite, the Cobra Pogo. Uh, the legs need to be reattached, but that's fine. Cobra Pogo, very nice. Uh, what else we got in here? Oh, I see something. Uh, hold on. Hold on. I'll show it to you in a minute. But right here we've got the Swamp Masher with version 2 of Storm Shadow riding in it. How about that? Check that out. I really like this vehicle. I, I don't know why I, everybody's expecting me to dislike it. Maybe it's the purple. Um, and yeah, purple may not be the best color. Uh, for a swamp vehicle, but overall the vehicle is not bad. I've tried to put this um, vehicle for a, a, a patron's choice review, but the patrons still haven't chosen it. But uh, I'll get around to it. I want to review that at some point in the near future. Um, let's see, what else we got? Let me take out some of this packing material. Everything seems to be packed well enough so that it will not break. <laughs> That's cool. Hang on a second. Alright, there's another vehicle in here. I can see it. You can't see it yet. Uh, first, let me pull a few other things out. We've got a leg for the uh, Pogo. Uh, we've got some accessories here. Uh, I recognize that as Lightfoot's and uh, that as... Oh, I'm blanking on the, the figure's name uh, that that goes to. Um, we've got some figures here. Uh, it looks like Downtown. Very nice, cool. Uh, mortar Soldier. Uh, we got uh, everyone's favorite, yeah, Outback. Everybody loves Outback. They should make a TV show about everybody loves Outback. Um, and oh, check that out. We have Tiger Force Lifeline. Tiger Force. Now I um, been thinking about trying to focus a little more on Tiger Force again. Uh, pick up a few of them. There's still quite a bit of Tiger Force that I don't have yet. Uh, but I actually uh, do kind of like that sub-team. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Move some parts out of the way. Um, and yeah, okay, I guess it's time now to pull this vehicle out so you can see it. 
And here it is. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that's another part to it. There it is. And this, uh, I know what this is. Hold on. That's what this was for. Ah, yeah, these blueprints um, for the Cobra Parasite. Yeah, that's what that was. So the, the blueprints that came in the other box, and I didn't know what that was for, this is what it's for. There you go. That is something else. There you go, Cobra Parasite. Awesome. All right, in addition to that, we have some other figures. There is Lightfoot and... And crazy legs uh, and it's back uh, back last back this guy that's the name of the guy I was uh, blanking on before so back blast and I've got some accessories for him uh, back blast and I think that's it uh, just a few accessories for the guys I've already shown you in here um, so uh, that was the other box uh, now I will magically uh, put on the shirt I had yesterday. Well, that's everything, and that is a lot. Holy cow. Thank you, uh, Michael and Lawson, for all of this. Uh, it means a lot to me, and uh, it's going... I hope you feel that it's going to a good place. And I promise I will... Uh, they'll uh, be well cared for, uh, and um, they'll be put to good use. And uh, when... I, one of my favorite things about collecting and doing this this show is sharing uh, and this gives me an opportunity to share more uh, with everyone out there and so uh, I want everyone to know that I appreciate you just watching the videos uh, the fact that uh, you have clicked on subscribe so you won't miss any videos is just uh, I'm very grateful for that uh, so thank you for being here Thank you for your generosity with your time. Uh, for those who have sent things to the channel, thank you for your generosity with your toys. Uh, and thank you for everything. Uh, please remember, nobody has to send me anything. And when people ask if they can send me something, I tell them that. You don't have to send me anything. Uh, the channel is doing great. I've, I think the channel is doing fantastic. Um, and I'm just thrilled with the relationships that we've built, the friendships that we've built, uh, and the discussion that we have every week, uh, and everybody just sharing their memories and their experiences, um, and just sharing all of their love for these, these toys. Um, that just is a thrill for me every week, um, and, and that's enough. I don't need any more than that. Uh, but for those of you who choose to do this kind of thing, I want to make sure that you know how much uh, I appreciate it and how humbling it is. So thank you. Um, I, th I guess that's all for now. Um, I'll see you again with a full G.I. Joe toy review th soon. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.